Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. I was working for a division of the Limited at the time, and we would go to travel all over the place, and there was a restaurant in Chicago called Soul Kitchen, which was one of my favorite places to go. It has since closed, but I loved the food there, I loved the atmosphere, so when we were trying to think of a name for the band, I suggested, how about Soul Kitchen, and everybody liked it. And <laughs> the best thing about it was, after we started playing, uh, we were brand new, and I would start to call people to try to get gigs, and they'd say, oh, I've heard of you guys. And they, of course, had never heard of us, because we had just started, but I just decided that that would be fine if they thought they knew us just based on the name, and the rest is history. We just started booking more and more gigs. So we've been together a little over, I guess it's been about 20 years. There just isn't another festival in town like the Creekside Blues and Jazz Festival. It's been um, the pinnacle for us, really. I mean, we're from Gahanna, so it's just so gratifying and humbling to play in your hometown. But really, to see it grow from what it started as to what it is now has been remarkable. And to know that we've been a part of that is really very special. This community really loves this festival and it shows. I think the, the crowds that come out are so engaging and so supportive. It's such a thrill, it's such a joy to play for these crowds. They're really fantastic. Every year has been um, better than the last, it seems, which is kind of amazing because every year we come off the stage and it's just such a high. It's so fantastic. It's so exciting. And every year I think, gosh, it can't get better than that. And somehow, miraculously, the next year it's even bigger and better and the crowds are more receptive and more excited. And as I'm walking around the festival, uh, you know, on Saturday and Sunday, I'll see people who will give out a shout, hey, you were great and really enjoyed your music. There's so much great community. There's so People are just so welcoming and loving and excited and, and happy to see everybody. It's just a lovely atmosphere. I'm so excited about this year. I can't believe the number of acts that are coming in that are substantial names in the music business. I'm a little upset that I'm going to miss David Sanborn, who's playing at the same time as me, and a little excited too to say that I can't see David Sanborn because I'm playing at the same time as him, so that's kind of a fun thing. Um, but he's been one of my favorites for years, so I do hope to kind of maybe sneak off and see him a little bit somehow. I'm actually not not surprised to see the kind of talent that this festival can get and can book because it, it's it's a phenomenal festival. I think um, folks from all over the country know about it and it just keeps getting bigger and better. I think it's absolutely appropriate that on this 20th anniversary it's getting as big as it's getting and we're getting the kind of acts that it deserves to have. Lori Jadwin and I go way back. Every year I sort of take for granted that we have this slot at this time, um, but not really. Every year I want to check in with her and make sure that she still wants us because we always want to be involved. So. Um, as long as she'll have us, we will absolutely agree to play that slot and be the closing band on the community stage at the festival every year because it's a joy.